Well, if you remember Grandmaster Jay from the NFAC, and you remember he ended up getting arrested, you know, by the feds, and he had his trial, and now he has finally been sentenced to seven years in prison. You know, his name is John Johnson, that is his government name, but you know, he was convicted of wanton endangerment for pointing an assault rifle at law enforcement officials on the roof. Now his legal team says they already filed an appeal, you know, in the case. Now they say a Louisville, Kentucky judge sentenced, you know, Grandmaster Jay to seven years and two months in prison. They allege that he pointed the rifle at Louisville Metro police officers during a rally, you know, by the NFAC. Now, Grandmaster Jay denies the allegation stating that he thought, he said, there was a threat, he said, by teenagers on the roof. So that's what, you know, ended up happening with Grandmaster Jay. Now, I knew, you know, when I first saw the NFAC come out, I said, like, oh, okay, who are these brothers? You know how they come out? Because this country is always going to try to neutralize any kind of militia, even the white ones, because yes, they do neutralize uh, militias that are white because they view them as anti-government groups. People say, well, why black people can't practice their second amendment rights? You, you can, um, you know, whatever, you know, you can protect your home and things like that. But when you out here toting guns like that, you're going to get on the radar, just bottom line. Why do you think the nation of Islam, um, never really carry guns like that? They say that, you know, they only supposed to not even carry a pen knife, the FOI, right? because they know if all of them in the nation of Islam were to start carrying like that, they would have been in trouble too. They, they know that you have to be wise as a serpent. You have to, when you're dealing with this white supremacist system. And I never heard nothing happening to the FOI brothers when they out there doing what they're doing. Because if let's say if somebody was to just start trying to harm them or whatever, it wouldn't be a good look at all. But, He's going to appeal his case. And that's something that, you know, he should do because they got people, you know, that's not even going to jail for things is a whole lot worse in, in, in definitely in the white community. Now, I don't know if they're going to get, that's a his center state where is that? I don't know if he'll be able to get out earlier, you know, good time or whatever, but you know, of course they wanted to break that up. You know, they, they always going to try to break up any black group, as going out there toting, you know, any kind of gun. Okay. Now I was told a long time ago, you know, that you just got to move a certain way, you know, definitely. Um, and, and anybody that give me advice and say, Hey, do this, don't say that or whatever. I take that advice, especially when people have been in the belly of the beast for doing certain things. If we, you know, get on code in our community and if we, you know, wield the weapon that we have about economics, that one hurts them a lot more than anything else. It's economics. If we, you know, unify together and say, we're not spending our money in this location. We're not going to buy from that corporation. That's something that we all can participate in and we don't break a law. We don't get in any kind of trouble. I seen what Dr. King and them done to this country and how they start breaking them economically. They need black people's money. That is the weapon of choice. I always say to black people is economics and unification. If we can do that and everybody can participate in it, nobody's breaking the law. Watch what we can do. You look at er other groups who got, you know, or above black people. What do they have? Economics and unification. We got to practice that folks. We got to practice that going the way of grandmaster Jay and doing things in his way. You know, it, it, it brings a certain kind of attention and it brings you certain kinds of trouble. You know I mean? Do what you want. I'm not telling anybody, but I'm just saying that it's so much strategic way. Cause you have to understand we are living in the belly of the beast. You understand? That's what we live in. And we are, you know, have so much going against us here. So we got to move a certain way as a people. Our people in the past didn't, didn't carry all kind of, you know, weapons like that. I mean, yeah, sure. You had the Panthers or whatever. They made sure to neutralize them. They made sure to jail all them, right? Because they, and they use those guns to do it. They even the, the law, gun laws in California got started a lot of them because of the black Panthers.
but just from what I've seen, just in American history, I just know that economic boycotts and unification works and still works to this day, but we haven't applied that. But I hope he do, you know, get his appeal, you know, cause the brother don't deserve being in prison. In my opinion, he do not, he didn't, he didn't fire his gun at nobody. He didn't do anything. Okay. They got people that's done some heinous things and still haven't spent one day in prison. But y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, Grandmaster Jay and, you know, because when he went down, it's like the whole NFAC, you know, went down with him. 